excited to actually bring this to you. I was online and then I saw this actual picture. What really got me, you know, that really got me is the fact that it says 50,000 circles. And if you know lithium-ion batteries, many of many of the lithium-ion batteries that you will find have around um, 2,000 to 6,000 circles, which is pretty nice. That's pretty amazing compared to lead acid batteries that have, you know, um, 500 circles. I think the most that you'll find is close to like a thousand circles. It's compared to this type of battery, you know, the sodium ion battery. I posted the um, the actual picture because I know Joe Garcia sells batteries and I'm, I know people personally that buys, you know, batteries from him. This is an actual, you know, um, battery that he has that he wants to sell. So it was really, really surprising to me to see sodium ion battery and I was like, where did that come from? I, I never heard about it. Though I know, yes, there's, there's um, sodium is so close to lithium and you know, I've never really pictured it in a way that we can actually have you know, a battery application, like something that you can actually see that works for storage. I went online, I started doing some research and here are some of the videos that I've found. Let's check it out. Sodium ion batteries have a similar design to lithium ion batteries which means the two can be manufactured using similar methods. Both generate electricity through a chemical reaction and are made up of an anode, cathode, separator, and an electrolyte. But in a sodium ion battery, lithium ions are replaced with sodium ions in the battery's cathode, and lithium salts swap for sodium salts in the electrolyte. Like lithium, sodium, which is part of salt, needs to be chemically processed before it can become the feedstock that goes into the cathode and electrolyte. Sodium is right by lithium on the periodic table, which means that the two are chemically very similar, but sodium is much more abundant. It's also cheaper. Although still in its infancy, the market for sodium ion batteries is expected to be worth over $11 billion by 2033. While sodium ion batteries can't compete with lithium ion batteries in terms of range in electric vehicles, they do present some unique advantages. Doesn't use the expensive raw materials. There's no cobalt, there's no copper, there's no lithium, there's no graphite, which is really primarily controlled by China today. What we're actually gonna see is a production natron battery cell that's been fully charged. And actually we're gonna drill straight through it with a, um, a hole saw. And what we're gonna find is it's just gonna sit there. Yeah, you know, there's no safety hazard, there's no fire. Chinese battery giant CATL recently announced that it would supply automaker Cherry with sodium ion batteries for its EVs. Other battery companies like Esfolt and French-based startup Timat are pursuing similar technology. CNBC spoke to two companies, California-based Natron Energy and UK-based Baradian, about their plans to commercialize sodium ion batteries and the technology's place in the evolving battery market. Sodium ion batteries have been around since about the 1970s and 80s, but large-scale development of the technology was abandoned in favor of lithium ion batteries. But now the technology is getting a second look. Excitement around sodium ion batteries was reignited after the world's largest EV battery maker, CATL, revealed it was investing in the technology in 2021, with plans to establish a basic industrial supply chain by 2023. Similar to lithium ion batteries, sodium ion battery cathodes can be made of different materials, which companies are experimenting with to give their batteries specific properties. But overall, the materials used to make sodium ion batteries tend to be cheaper than the materials used in lithium ion batteries. This cell, about 80% of the cost of the cell is the materials. And if you compare it with the bill of materials for lithium in volume, you're looking at between 24 to 32% less expensive for the bill of materials for sodium ion compared to lithium ion. Besides doing away with lithium, sodium ion batteries do not require the use of other critical materials, like cobalt, which has been associated with human rights abuses. Plus, sodium can be found anywhere. It's hugely abundant, you know, it's, it's not just widely available in terms of the, the, the current sources of sodium in, in sea salt, but it's contained in the crust of the earth uh, around the world as well. Lithium, the majority of that is within, you know, basically three countries, Australia, China and Chile, uh, and developing to be, you know, a handful of more countries, but still hugely concentrated. 70 or so percent of the current cobalt production is, is in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and again, the vast majority of that is, is being refined in China. So, so these are yeah, obviously key 
bottlenecks in terms of the supply chain. Another draw of sodium ion batteries is that they have a longer cycle life, meaning that the battery can be charged and discharged more times than lithium ion batteries and can operate in a wider range of temperatures. With sodium ion batteries, we have a very wide temperature operating range, so down to minus 30 and all the way up to plus 60. Also, we've demonstrated capability to go up to plus 80 degrees C as well. And that, again, is because of the uh, intrinsic elements of the electrolyte and the materials that we're able to use. Battery fires have also been an issue that's dog lithium ion technology. But experts say sodium ion batteries will be much safer. Lithium ion, you always need to have 30 to 40 percent charge in a battery. That's why when you get on a plane and they ask you to take out your batteries, if you're going to check in a bag, it's for those reasons, because they can become unstable and catch fire. And sodium ion is very unique in that way, that we can ship these at zero volts, so it's like essentially shipping a bag of electrolyte, not, a, not an active battery. For all of its advantages, the Achilles heel of sodium ion technology has been its energy density which is the amount of electrical power a battery can store with respect to its mass. What this means is that in order to hold the same electrical charge, sodium batteries need to be bigger and heavier than their lithium counterparts, which can be a problem for EVs where space is limited. Today, sodium ion batteries have an energy density similar to that of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Lithium ion chemistries containing nickel, manganese, and cobalt have the highest energy densities. These energy densities translate to range in electric vehicles. Despite its diminished range, experts say sodium ion technology has a promising future, and companies are rushing to ramp up production. All right, guys, um, I hope this helped. And let me know in the comment section if it's something that you would you know, like to get. Um, I know there are people that are actually selling it currently. And it's really amazing to see something that has 50,000 circles. That's, that's really amazing. That's something that, that it, it boggles my mind. So it can be circled for 50,000 times. That's, that's amazing. All right. So um, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.